Hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is making a jig for a wrench rack. It's like the first part. Couldn't find my T-bevel, so I'm just using a folding roller to give me an angle that I need. And this is me just starting to put the fence up. going to be two pieces of fence. One piece will be a stop block. Here I'm using what's called Tech 5s. They are a really sharp, almost drill-like self-tapping screw. They're not like your run-of-the-mill self-tapper. I'm making this jig because I have to make a whole bunch of of these pins two different sizes three sixteenths and quarter inch and they're going to hold branches from a quarter inch to seven eighths eventually i'm going to make a separate one for the wrenches the rest of the way up and i'll still be able to use this jig at this point i'm making about a hundred pins but you can see how fast those tech fives just blast through that metal here I'm center punching a hole. I was a little bit off, so you can redirect it by putting the uh, center punch on an angle a little bit. Here I'm tapping a pivot pin hole. As I say, slow and steady. This is sped up, so it looks like I'm going really fast. I'm going to keep boiling it. That's a number seven bit. I'm going to be using a quarter inch tap quarter 20 actually you want to go nice and slow once you get it where it starts hitting resistance you want to back it off then go forward again and back it off it's kind of your feeling if it seems like it's tight you want to stop and this is kind of the arm this is almost kind of like a sheet metal break for pins once again, I'm a little crooked, so as you can see, I was a little angulated on the punch. And here we go, tapping again. You can see me uh, taping something together. I always like to um, tape my uh, taps and bits that correspond to that size together. It makes it easier when you're looking for it. This is all scrap, so I just wanted to knock some of the burrs off with the file. And here you can see that's kind of like the depth stop I just ran down in there. That was a pin I hand bent. Here I'm just cutting a whole bunch of pins for length. There you can see that piece of metal I have propped up there. That's to stop the uh, sparks from spraying down into my wood workbench and everything else. And here's the mass produced pin making. I compared it to my uh, prototype and you can crank a lot of these out all at the same angle. And you'll see why that's important later on that everything be close to the same amount that'll keep the wrenches from falling off the end of the rack that I'm going to be building.